Last winter I did a lot of roach fishing on the Stour near Wimborne. When conditions were good, I caught really big bags of roach. I don't use a keep net anymore, that stopped about seven or eight years ago. But I had anything up to about 40 pounds, which is catches of 60 to 90 roach. Lots of small ones, three or four to the pound. The odd ones that were 10 or 12 ounces and a fair few over a pound up to about one nine. There were bigger ones caught last winter, one or two two pounders, one or two just knocking on the door just under. This year I'm trying to pick out the bigger fish to uh, film. I think it's a bit more interesting than just watching me catching five ounce roach one after another all day. So with that in mind, we decided to go to Wimborne and fish for roach. And I was going to try and pull out the stops to try and catch a big one. Just not worry about the small ones, but just uh, try that a little bit harder for a, a bigger fish. Instead of the three and a half gram floats I've been using previously, I used a float I've been using on the Avon a bit, which is a, this is a float that takes about five grams. It's got a four gram olivet with a couple of BB underneath it, probably needs a bigger olivet and another couple of number fours or so as a small dropper shot and a couple of number eights bunched on the hook length, which was 22 inches. So it was about 30 inches from the olivet to the hook, which was a size 14 um, Drennan silverfish barbless. And initially I fished bread punch on the hook. This week we've had some cold weather. Uh, we had a load of rain on the Saturday, which brought the river well and truly into a big dirty flood on the Sunday. That was followed on the Monday by freezing fog all day with maximum temperature of two degrees C, followed by a clear night with minus four. And then on the day of fishing, there was a touch of frost overnight, maybe a zero. And it wasn't very warm in the day either, only getting up to about five degrees maybe. But virtually no wind, very still. Not quiet because of the Wimborne Bypass. The swim I fancied fishing was taken by someone else, but there was another swim. Well, there were loads of good swims really. Another swim not far away where I could start. And it wasn't long before I caught a couple of four or five ounce roach. Things after that got a bit more interesting as the day wore on. And uh, let's see how I got on. I'm using my usual mix of gross gardon and brown crumb 50-50 with punch bread with a 14. It's mixed fairly stiff to get down in about 10 foot of water. As you can see it's a fairly still day. There's a, a little bit of a breeze. It's downstream, not enough to really ripple the water. But it's making it hard work. I'm fishing well out. Still this side of middle, but it's uh, probably 50 yards wide there. So that I'm having to mend the line frequently. And the float's tending to drift in a little bit. Trying to get that perfect presentation of just popping it into the roaches' mouths. And with the water so cold, the bites are shy. The light's quite tricky as well to see the float once it gets into the reflections of the trees further down. My view, of course, is different to that of the camera. Bread punch fills up with the uh, ground bait every so often. See, I keep fairly close control of the uh, line coming off the spool. I don't just leave the spool open, let the line spill off my fingers on the spool. 
until such time as I need to just give a little bit of line and I move the rod round, slowing down the float as I do so. The rod's my usual Tricast John Allerton Premier Match 13 foot. Well, I've hit something a lot bigger this time round. After four little roach, finally got a good one. And take my time. Some heavy old thumps on the rod tip. This one seems to want to get into the snags on the inside. Certainly not giving up easily. Well, he got into the snag that time. Cracking roach. How about that? Said we'd get a good roach. That was a kingfisher that just flew past. We did weigh it accurately, it weighed one pound six. Hearing some funny noises from the reeds on the far bank. Camera's not picking them up, but there's something going on opposite me. And here's the culprit, it's a big otter, and he's going for the float which I've pulled away. And with that he dived down, we didn't see him again. I've moved up above the bridge now. After the otter there was very little doing. I thought it would be shallower up this end. Sure, it used to be about nine foot, but I've ended up setting the float to 12 and a half foot before I started to get a few bites. By the outfall of the sewage works, there's a young heron with an egret sat behind it. Now and again, the uh, heron chases off the egret. The kingfisher joins in as well. There's tons and tons of little minnows by that outfall. Heron's picking them up one after another. Still sticking to the bread punch on a 14. It's easier fishing this side of the bridge. For some reason there's virtually no wind, either that or the wind's dropped. Putting in the ground bait pretty hard, getting it down in that 12 foot of water. Don't have to fish so far out where the river's narrower. Still picking up the main flow.
it gets right down towards the bridge it shallows up a bit and I start to pick up bits of rubbish off the bottom but most of the way down it's pretty good really leaning back on the float Another reasonable one, not something bigger than that though. Let's keep trying. This is thumping much harder. Time to take it steady. I don't hold the rod too rigidly, I let the rod kick a bit if it needs to. Gotcha. I think it's a bit, bit better than that first big one below the bridge. Just over one eight. Another cracking roach. That will do nicely for the day. Hope you've enjoyed this video. It was certainly an interesting three hours fishing. Plenty of wildlife, although we didn't always capture all of it on camera. Kingfishers, a pair of kingfishers flying all over the place. Lots of birds along the embankment for the uh, bypass there. And uh, a couple of good fish. Please click like and subscribe and there should be some more along soon. Cheerio for now.